Morning, Callum. Firstly, again. Yep. Um, I want to ask you the usual first question, but in a different way, if that's okay. So I get the same answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, looking, how do you get the balance right after last Saturday's performance in terms of looking back at it and moving on from it? Yeah, I think we we obviously have to look back on it. I think we sat down with the players on Monday. We went through the first half. Um, what we thought wasn't good enough with it. Uh, you know, for me, when we play games, I think it's it's really important that we were in games to win it. Uh, it's probably the boys have been absolutely brilliant since they've been in uh, every game. I've felt, obviously, apart from that one, mm -hmm. uh, I felt as though we could win the game. So you know, it's one of those little blips. You know, I think it's it's important we we assess what we think we did wrong, and and how do we give Dundee United the opportunities? You know, I think again, conceding a goal, a really poor defensive goal on my on my side in the forty fifth minute, changes the. The whole kind of mm -hmm. half time, second half approach, and uh, that was probably the biggest disappointing thing. And obviously, we lost goals quick, quick succession. You know, it's that little bit of composure. So, I think for me, what, what I said to the lads, uh, we looked at Monday, we talked about it, we drew that, that was under, we drew, drew a line under it. Uh, we had a reset button. You know, we've got big games coming up. Uh, we've been really good since we've been in. So, I think we, we stay in that positive mindset. You know, we're, we're in a position where we are fighting for survival now. You know, it was kind of was always that when we came in. Obviously, where we were, we've put ourselves in a great opportunity. You know, uh, it's up to us uh, what happens. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's tough. The league's tough, and I just want to go in, uh, into the game Saturday. You know, with the lads believing we can win this game, and I think, you know, the, the four games coming up, we've, we've had positive results in all games. So I think that has to be looked at, and I think that we need to go in and, and try and win the game. Uh, you know, it's really important at this stage of the season. Three points are massive. You know, so there'll be it'll be a tough game. It'll be an edgy game. I've watched Inverness a lot, and you know they're actually sometimes quite unlucky uh, mm. in the performances. So we need to make sure we are uh, fully committed. Uh, we know what we're doing, and just be brave. You know, when we've got the ball. It might be a daft question, but how how important is it to start the game well on Saturday? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, every game. I think as a manager, a coach, uh, you always want to win the game to start it well. I don't think there's any manager say, listen, let's just start slow. <laughs> you know, and I think it's I think we all go through different ideas, different routines to try and change things. We you know we look at different ideas, how we do the team talk, what do we do before the game and stuff. So I think it's really important that you know, I think it's the lads themselves, you know, sometimes when they cross the line, you know, I want that attitude, I want that positivity there. Uh, you know, I don't want to be afraid to make mistakes in the right areas. Uh, I thought Saturday maybe come back to Saturday, too many mistakes in, in poor areas of the pitch. So yeah, we can probably do that, and and you know I think that's you know the start's important, but then obviously just before half time's important, just after half time. So, <laughs> so basically, you want to say that the whole game's important, isn't it? <laughs> but I know what you're saying. Yeah. I know what you're saying. The, the last time we played Inverness, it was a, a great uh, victory up there. I think Dom scored. Yep. Um, probably two teams probably in a transitional stage. Yeah, you weren't long in the door, and their manager wasn't long in the door, and there was players coming and going. Yeah, I think so. I think obviously Duncan was a bit longer. I think. You know, we, we'd obviously, uh, obviously play, both playing sort, sort of certain ways. You know, so I think it's, you know, it's one of those. I think uh, I've watched a lot of games in Inverness and a lot of games. I th probably thought they could have won the game as yeah. well. So they're a good team. You know, they've got some really good players, some good experience in there as well. Uh, likewise, us, we've got a lot of experience, a lot of youth. So uh, probably teams very similarly matched. And you know, all I want to do is go in that game and, and give ourselves the opportunity to win it. And how is the squad looking? Yeah, it's okay. Uh, we obviously had a few niggles from from last week, uh, which again maybe caused a few changes. So there might be a few changes again uh, this week. Again, we'll just assess everybody uh, by Friday, and we'll see what happens. Good. Just one for the for the fans. How, how important will their back can be? I did, massive. I think it's. I think you never underestimate. I thought they were actually great for us on Saturday. You know, they never really. You know, sometimes in some clubs they've been that, they could quite easily turn. But you know, I think I think they've seen the efforts and. They've seen the change in the commitment uh, since January uh, from the players and from the, everybody here. You know, we're all striving to do our best. Uh, I think they realise that. You know, so hopefully they give us our backing uh, on Saturday as they always do, and hopefully we can give them something to be proud of and pleased with. Excellent. I'll leave you with that objective, Callum. Cheers. Thank you.